don't shine when you're not near I don't feel like I do when you're with me Felt like suddenly My souls collided, hearts entwined When I decided to make you mine I'm never going back I know that's a Today we're trying a slightly different format of video since we have a lot of content to go through. So this weekend I'd stayed over at Jiang Mi's place and since the weather was super nice that day we decided to go get brunch at this cafe with floor to ceiling windows and this stunning view of Bukhansan. We ordered two ice americanos as well as a corn crumble and a Portuguese grilled chicken kind of dish if I remember correctly. I actually wasn't planning on filming that weekend but since the weather was so nice we ended up going to a lot of pretty places and doing a lot of crazy things including spontaneously deciding to hike up Pukansan the next day. So I filmed a lot of clips here and there that you guys will hopefully see sometime soon on my Instagram. I'm planning on editing those into an Instagram reel but anyway this is sometime later that week I was just browsing through Pana Small and I saw these super cute quokka airport cases fun fact quokkas are actually Australian animals but I literally never see any cute quokka match in Australia so I snapped these up as soon as I saw them since I was already in the area I stopped by Stafford Library to kill some time and then headed to No Brand Burger to grab a quick bite to eat before my dermatology appointment in the afternoon wasn't super hungry so i just ordered the original burger but if you guys get the chance you should definitely try this place out the tagline is why pay more is good enough and it really is guys my burger was roughly two or three dollars but you can really taste how fresh the ingredients are and i'm pretty sure the cheapest burger on the menu is like a dollar fifty so it's such good value for money definitely recommend it if you're looking for a cheap and simple meal on the go today's appointment was mostly just for mole removal but I also got some laser treatments while I was there so this is just numbing cream on my face I had to sit there waiting for around half an hour for it to take effect before I could go get my treatment after that was done I headed downstairs to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription ointment for my scalp psoriasis which is completely better now guys I just wanted an extra one to be safe since I can't buy that ointment in Australia and then happily went off to dinner with Sujin this girl brought me some canelles from a famous baby in your office. Also, this was just a random restaurant that we'd walked into, but their possum and makuksu turned out to be really good, so I was super happy about that. And we spent the rest of the evening inside a nearby cafe planning a glamping trip that we wanted to take that weekend. The next day, I had plans with Erna in the afternoon, so this is me heading on my way to meet her. A moment of appreciation for my new AirPod case. Isn't it cute? Erna was already waiting for me at the station when I arrived, so we headed straight to the cafe that she'd chosen, and here is a short break from my voice. This is Americano tea. Yes. Do you want to put it on? Yes. Do you want to put it on? No. 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 This girl had just dyed her hair that week and I think this color looks so good on her, don't you guys think? After sitting there chatting for a while, we headed to Yeonnamdang to take some photos in the Photomatic photo booth. These were super cute when we were taking them but they printed out a little overexposed and we were so disappointed we walked straight into the Insang Nair Cut studio to take some more. This place had props that you could choose from so here we are trying to pick something matching for our photos. <laughs> We decided on our concept. I am a burger and Erna is the fries. <laughs> Went in to take our photos and they came out so much better than the other one. Not bad. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> this one is a little bit photoshop no we just look that pretty in real life <laughs> do we look so cute here guys i kept telling anna that and she kept getting shy but you just gotta learn to appreciate yourself you know i asked her what her favorite cuisine is and she said mexican <laughs> and i just so happen to really want to go to this taco place Ta-da!
This has only been on my list for like five years. This place is really popular, so there's usually a bit of a wait. But since we went early, we were seated immediately and ordered the B set, which had a little bit of everything. I think it was a perfect amount for two people. Everything tasted light and fresh, and you could also get refills of the tortillas and toppings. So I'd say it's pretty good value for money and definitely satisfied my cravings. After dinner, we stopped by a local bakery to pick up some baked goods and then began our hunt for a norebang. In Korea, a lot of the karaoke rooms look really old and dodgy, so this is us walking straight out of one as soon as we walked in. And you were like, no, let's go. After walking a bit further, we finally found the coin norebang that we were satisfied with. It looked clean and modern and new, and we went straight in. Morning, I made plans with Jungmi to visit Taedim, which is like a Chinatown in the middle of Seoul. This is pretty much the closest I'm gonna get to China for a while since the pandemic started, so don't mind the next few minutes of us falling over Chinese food. I miss it so so much. <laughs> <笑>我想吃凉皮了 Those cold noodles were so good guys, Jungmi couldn't stop exclaiming as she was eating but I do need to give a special mention to those chive pancakes. They cost less than a dollar each but I don't know what sorcery they did to those because they kept us full the entire day. I'm not kidding, we literally had no space for dinner. <laughs> Billy's full, Jungmi and I decided to go relive our youth so we hopped on the subway and Look where we are! Oh, <laughs> National University Came back to school guys We're gonna take the photo that we never took when we were studying here <laughs> What you get to the building in Paigua? It felt so strange to be coming back, not as students, but as alumni this time. Even now, just editing this footage, I feel a little weird inside. But after we took our photos, we decided to explore the campus a bit. So we walked up all the same hills that we used to walk on our way to class, reminiscing the good old days and reliving our youth. This is the building where Jungmi and I met for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the famous pond. If you guys were wondering what those stickers on my face were, by the way, those were from the mole removal the other day. I just needed to keep them on while the skin was healing. But back to the campus tour. This was the student center where we used to grab lunch at the cafeteria all the time. And this was the library where I used to write my homework and do my assignments. The day that we went, I think it was almost exam season. So there weren't as many students on campus as we thought there would be, but it was still super nice to walk around. We then took the same bus that we took all those years ago back to the Sharusuke area. This was another place that we used to hang out in after class. Mostly because Jungmi lived around here. Where's my door? Currently looking for where she used to live. Yogi Anikati? Inka the Nebya. The Anyong Kwaza Jungmi. Good day. 
Yeah. Me, you still live in here, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> After the shock of seeing someone else walk into Zhang Mi's old apartment, we went to browse some of the new stores that had opened in the area. There were so many of these cute stores that sold little knickknacks like plushies and key rings and plates and homewares and stuff. I had to exhibit some extreme self control to not buy more plates since I already have so many at home. This next store we went into was basically a scrapbooker's paradise. It had so many cute sticker sheets and stationery and washi tape. I was mostly just shopping for gifts for friends. There's so many pretty mirrors everywhere in Korea. I swear my camera roll is just filled with mirror selfies now. But later that evening, since we were still so full from lunch, we kind of gave up on the idea of eating a proper meal and ended up going to this famous bakery in the area called Ramiskan. This place is known for its whole grain gluten-free, low sugar scones, that was a bit of a mouthful and that ended up becoming our dinner. Guess who's back in Olive Young? It was the last day of their sale for that month so your girl wanted to go take advantage. Little did I know the tragedy that was about to happen the next day. I have some really bad news right now. This morning I was on my way to Gangnam and literally the worst thing happened. My card holder fell through the cracks between the subway and the platform. So right now I literally do not have a single penny to my name. I went to the station office but they said they can't go look for it until the subway stopped running and that'll be like past midnight, like maybe 1am. So we won't be able to find out until tomorrow morning if they found my cards and if my card's still intact or if they've been squished. So yeah, that was my morning. So Jin's my sugar daddy today. <laughs> Because I'm so broke today. <laughs> sugar mama. Sugar mom. She just came from a wedding and she looks very beautiful. With my sugar mama now in tow, we went to go check out this Aussie cafe in the area called Aussie Hill. And this was so funny, guys. They literally just bought a one dollar pack of self-raising flour from Woolies and somehow made it look good. This place had a huge selection of pastries, cakes and other baked goods to choose from but because Sujin and I are both super indecisive people it took us almost 20 minutes to decide on what we wanted. Who understands the struggle? We ended up settling on this black sesame tofu pound cake I think it was as well as one of these churro scones and just ordered whichever two coffees looked most interesting interesting on the menu these were both oat milk based and really delicious what was it? it was vegan dubu pound cake i can taste the dubu me too mm. i can smell the dubu guys oh, oh. so cute at Aussie Hill since we were leaving for our glamping trip the next day, we'd plan on spending the afternoon deciding on the itinerary for our trip, but the two of us can never stay on topic when we talk, so it took us an extra long time. The sun had already set by the time we left the cafe, but we're in Korea where everything is open till late, so there were still plenty of shops and stores open in the area for us to browse. Here we're visiting Awesome Needs, which is a trending indie designer at the moment. A lot of idols have been seen wearing their hats and bags but the item that i was most interested in was this mirror that they had on the wall it was so cute and also not for sale since we were passing by we decided to check out the exclusive hyundai card library they gave us these fancy black gloves to wear while handling some of the items they had on display but honestly a lot of this was beyond our comprehension the circle in a particular spot for a particular reason he painted all the middle east area Mm. Red. Wow. <laughs> why do you not appreciate art? I am appreciating art. So like, why is this? Wow, easy? why would he do that? <laughs> I like how the, how the hole is perfectly cut. <laughs> oh my god, can I edit my videos here? <laughs> This was the multimedia room where you could sit down and watch some of the short films in their library but I don't know, maybe we're just not cultured enough, they were all just way too abstract and 
weird and strange for us to understand so back to shopping it was of course we ended up at another cell photo studio these are everywhere on the streets these days and they're all trying to outdo each other so this place even had a hair dryer and curling irons for you to touch up your hair and makeup before your shot while we're at it here is a lip of the day that no one asked for juicy lessington somerset somerset one is from new york the other one is it's in Milan. The number is erased, so I don't know what the number is. Oh my god, it looks so funny! Oh my god, it looks so funny! I know! Oh, you no. look like, like a Disney princess. You do. And yeah. You look like Snow White. Snow White. As per tradition, mirror selfies first before heading into the photo studio. I really think these photo booths are such a cute way to spend time with friends and you can make some lasting physical memories to look back on later. I like this. So cute. Oh, we're just so cute and all of them. You got, you got, you got. Yeah. Oh my God, we're so cute. After our photos, we decided on Thai for dinner, so we chose to go to this nearby restaurant called Song Thai. Had no idea it was a famous restaurant till we walked in and were greeted by an entire wall of autographs. Oh, but I think Lisa has like Naya. Oh. Yeah. Anna and Dawn came together. Song Mino. Mini, Mini. Like Naya. The two of us ordered the pad thai papaya salad and a basil pork dish that ended up becoming my favorite for the night. Everything was really good and for those of you who are vegan, this place had a lot of vegan options available so it's worth a note if you're ever visiting Seoul. It was really loud inside the restaurant though so we had to lean over the table like this the entire time to hear each other but left with happy tummies and went home to pack for our glamping trip. The next morning, I'm very very happy to report that I called the station staff and look what I got back! After picking that up from the station office, Sujin and I stopped by Emart to pick up some meat and other groceries for dinner that evening. Somehow, the two of us ended up spending almost $100 on groceries for this meal that we still needed to cook ourselves. We might as well have just gone to a restaurant. The glamping site that we booked was on an island near Incheon, so we loaded up our groceries and began our long drive. Oh, here's the traffic jam stuff. Oh, wow! To where? <laughs> to Seoul. <laughs> to Seoul. The rest of this trip I filmed as an Instagram reel, so here's just some random clips as a teaser. But that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and aren't too sick of my voice yet. I actually just recovered from COVID, so if my voice is a little hoarse, that is why. Before I go, Yesdell currently has their Black Friday sales going on, and if you use my discount code NESSIE22BF within the next 48 hours, you'll get an additional 20% off their existing discount prices with no minimum order definitely make sure to take advantage of that happy shopping and i will see you guys in the next one bye